and some of the most famous designs originated in the mind of Marcello Gandini, the man responsible for the distinctive look of the Lamborghini Diablo. But in a bold leap from the ground to the air, the Italian designer has produced the world's smallest helicopter. This simple, elegant craft, light and delicate in design, is appropriately named the Angel. You might think you've seen single-seater helicopters before, but what you've probably seen are gyrocopters. This is a genuine, fully enclosed, vertical takeoff helicopter, and you need a certified helicopter pilot's license to fly one. Unfortunately, that's something I don't have, but we can show you what it's like through the eyes of our cameras. The CH-7 Angel, to give it its full name, is controlled in exactly the same way as its larger relatives. Its twin rotors are powered by a 600cc Rotax two-stroke two-cylinder engine, with the whole craft weighing just 170 kilograms. This gives the Angel a cruising speed of 140 kilometers an hour, and a maximum speed of 190. Zipping along on standard petrol, the Angel has a flying range of three hours at cruising speed. The CH-7 has a maximum climb rate of seven metres a second. And, of course, it can do what all helicopters do best, hover in mid-air like a bird. In the case of the Angel, it can hover up to an altitude of 2,100 metres. And for the smallest helicopter in the world, it carries a remarkably sophisticated package of technology on board. The operational heart of the Angel is its flight management computer system. Like any helicopter, the task of flying and maintaining the machine is incredibly complex. The onboard computer will take into account such variables as the pilot's weight, outside temperature, altitude and speed data to give in-flight warnings to the pilot if any performance parameters are exceeded. For flying within mountainous terrain, where atmospheric oxygen is in shorter supply, the computer will warn the pilot if landing and trying to start the engine again at such altitude is possible. Good advice if you don't want to be stuck on the side of a mountain. And most importantly, the computer keeps close tabs on the helicopter's maintenance program. If the 50-hour checkup limit is ignored, there will only be another five hours of flying time before the electronics intercede to prevent anyone from starting up the engine. The lightweight Angel will only set you back the price of a family sedan, unlike its larger cousins that come at a cost of a luxury house. But it's not just the price that makes this aircraft unique. This is the first commercially available helicopter to incorporate the patented concept of Argentinian aviation designer Augusto Chicare, who has revolutionized the rotor control system. In standard helicopter design, pilot commands to the rotor blade assembly are affected through an oscillating plate or swashplate mechanism located up here at the top of the rotor mast. That enables the pilot to manipulate the angle of attack of each of the blades, and that's the essence of helicopter flight but it does have its disadvantages. The oscillating plate and its bearing are large and heavy, so that their mass produces a gyroscopic effect as they rotate. This generates a significant amount of vibration, making the pilot's job of controlling the helicopter's stability that much harder. On the CH-7 Angel, the oscillating plate, as you can see, has been dispensed with altogether and replaced instead by a much simpler bearing system which sits down here at the base of the rotor mast. This whole mechanism is much smaller and lighter than the oscillating plate and so greatly reduces the vibration generated by the gyroscopic effect. 
that means less stress on the parts and for the pilot much quicker and easier responses to the controls and a reduction in fuel consumption has been achieved with a more aerofoil shaped rotor blade rather than the standard symmetrical design found on most helicopters all this combined with an excellent power to weight ratio adds up to exceptional aerobatic performance capabilities provided you've got the skills and at a price that defies economic gravity so it may not go as fast as a flat-out Ferrari nor be as practical as a Giorgio Armani suit but for personal freedom you can't go past an Italian angel